Alrighty guys, got another beautiful fifth wheel for you. Today we're looking at a 2017 Keystone Montana High Country. This is a 378 model, double axle, quad slide. Let me tell you, it is beautiful. We just took it in on trade here at Padata RV Center here in Tucson. My name is Taylor Quayle. I'm about to give you a good look on the exterior and interior of this coach. Right out the gate, we're gonna start up front. <laughs> Little area where you can put a generator if need be. You can see the cutout at the bottom. And shut these two as we're going through it. All right, and you can see your electric awning right there. It is just about fully extended. You can see I got close to the other coach next to us. LED strip down below. One propane tank there, one on the other side. And you can see your leveling jack, six point auto leveling system. Big, big, big pass through. Guys, don't piss off the wives, otherwise this will be your new bedroom. See, it's got the seamless style windows. Love those. Paint's not in bad condition. A little bit of fading from some sun, but it's not bad. It'll be buffed up. You can see some of that going on right there. Really not bad. And you can see they upgraded to the step above steps. And you can still see the regular, you know, kind of pull out steps there, but these are just so solid. You know, if you're gonna be parking anywhere for extended amounts of time, that's the way you wanna go. Tires, I wait for that vehicle to drive by. My gosh, that is loud. Let's see if I can find a day code on these for you. They should be original, so late 2016, early 17. Got one slide on the, on the passenger side. It's for the rear living area. You can see the rear here. It's got a wireless backup camera and a rack on it. 15 amp power service, of course. And you can see the other three slides on this side. No slide toppers, but you could put them on if you want. You can see the tracks up there for them. You have a, this is kind of cool, it's a tank vent. Help keep the smell down a little bit. Decals all in good condition, no chips, no cracks, nothing too crazy there. Let's see if I can find that. Okay, it looks like tires were updated, 0418, so they're actually only uh, a couple years old. Here's the other side of that pass through. You can see some of your city water connections, outdoor shower, coax, low point drains. Auto leveling electronic system right there. You see that big 50 amp power service cable. Another propane tank, like I said. Now the weight, it's hard to see, but that's it's 15,400 fully loaded. Cargo 3840. So you're looking 11 and some change dry. One more peek of the exterior here. No, let's go jump inside. I think it's about that time. All right. So, you have two opposing slides in the rear for your kind of seating area. One slide right there for the fridge and the dinette. And you got one in the bedroom. But we're gonna start all the way up front. First slide, right there. Second slide, right here. Couch. Reclining chairs, another couch. Let's see what kind of sleeper are these. So they're the trifold. So you'll sleep two, four, and depending on how many drinks you have that night, maybe two more there. And you see you got that faux rock around the fireplace, big old TV. And then they were the single owners of this. And they opted for just these one style shades. They didn't go with the day or nighttime shades. They just went with those, which you have that throughout every single window in here. And it can really let in a lot of ambient light. It's very nice. I'm gonna go over some of the storages. There's a lot this coach has, so I'm not gonna go over everything, but I'll give you a good gist of the majority of it. And you can see you got that nice LED strip there and a couple other areas in the kitchen with a beautiful ceiling fan. All right, so that's your main kind of living area, living room, whatever you wanna call it. And then it's a mid kitchen. So your kitchen right here, not bad, lots of counter space, Corian tops throughout with covers. 
Nice high cabinets with the crown molding on the cabinets, nicer than my house. My gosh. So your four-door Dometic fridge here. And then you got bottom fridge. This will run off of propane or electric. And then your dinette. And it can, it does have a leaf to extend if you want to get a little bit more room for the four seats. And that's all, like I said, part of a slide, probably about three feet deep. And then you kind of have this pantry storage wine area right here. Give you an idea of some of the store edges. And then six bottles right there. Lots of storage. That's really all there is to it. All right, and now over in the kitchen, you do have an oven. Looks like a 21-incher. Stainless steel appliances. Three burner gas stove top. It's a cover that you can still put stuff on top of. And of course, your microwave, residential size. I'm 5'9". Can't <laughs> quite reach that top one, but hey. <laughs> You got these four drawers here. Are these connected? They are. So these two, these four doors will all be connected. So lots of storage right there. Nice siding in the kitchen. Oh, it's not just a sticker either. That's nice. I told you I wasn't going to go over every drawer as I open every drawer. My gosh. Then you got four of these. We won't look at them all, but... Yeah, that's your kitchen. Not bad. I mean, beautiful coach. I love the floor plan. You know, it's great for if you have a big family. It's good for two people. You know, whatever you want to do. If you plan on living in this thing, not a problem. A few steps up. Breaker box right there. Coat storage right here. And you got your main control panel right above it. You can see some of the slide controls, awning control, fan controls. I forgot to show you. Printing out a little thing. Here's some of the features of it. You're welcome to pause at any time. There's your weight, storage, size, axles, ACs. Double AC, of course, 15,000 BTU units. So 30,000 output. Nice little window with some shade. Also has the pull down. Now this door is pretty unique. Let me see if I can show you what I mean. So when you open it, it slides in like that. Feels weird the first time. Not a bad bathroom. Dandy with a little bit of storage. A bit of storage down below. <laughs> Extended tank. Swivel stick. Medicine cabinet. Fan right above us with the hood. AC vent in here. I don't know why, but I always point out the AC in the bathroom. I feel like it's a big deal. Toilet. China toilet, of course. Toilet paper. Towel storage. And a couple more storages there. Shower it does have a, a seat in it. I'm 5'9. I know I'm not that tall, but don't mind the sweat. It's hot. I'm plenty, I'm plenty short to fit in here. If you are 6'3, six, 6'4, six, you may have to bend down to get the uh the neck wet, but you can still get in there. Alright, and that's your bathroom. Let's head on into the bedroom. So the bed does have a slide too. It is a king bed. You see that slide right there with a the nice back panel. Is there storage under? There is. There's a lot of storage on there. My gosh, air mattress, of course. And then in front of the bed, you have your kind of, you got a couple drawers, nice little TV in its own little enclosure. Those are massive drawers. And you got this little sitting area right here with an additional storage under there. And finally, you have your main wall closet. This thing is huge. So you can see Got your wardrobe storage all throughout the whole thing. Area for shoes, shorts, whatever. A couple side shelves in each of these. This one and this one has storage under there too. And on top of that, area for a washer and dryer if you want one. So quite a bit. I mean, lots of storage. Like if you could live in this thing, you could take it out for extended trips and it would serve you very, very well. So that was a quick peek at our 2017 Keystone Montana.
high country, of course. You know, we're selling this, like I said, at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. We have this bad boy priced at $39,995, which I think is pretty aggressive, especially when you compare it to that bighorn for 10 grand more right next to us. I hope you enjoy the video. You're welcome to give us a call if you have any questions. Ask for Taylor Quail. Good number for us is 520-807-0900. Really appreciate you guys viewing my, my video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. Have a great day.